So, Roxanne, let's uh, showcase your amazing parenting skills. So, you're in a parking lot, and this is over the weekend, because yes. you, you told the story yesterday. Yes. And you probably don't even know that I was listening to this. I, I don't know right now if you're saying that you're showcasing my amazing parenting skills, because I thought I was very much a quick thinker in handling the situation. So, I, maybe you're not being <laughs> facetious. Maybe you're being, like, serious. Like, I, Roxanne, amazing you, parenting skills. Where were you guys? We guys in... Where we, was this parking this lot? Is, this is after I ate my roasted vegetable salad at your at your Nightshades restaurant. No, it's, <laughs> at California Pizza Kitchen. So, we're leaving. Okay. <laughs> well, hold on. What? what? <laughs> All right, just, do, I, yes, just, just tell, tell the story. story. Don't leave I'm the jokes out. Tell the yeah, story. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're at California Pizza mm, Kitchen? Yes. Where the hell is that? It's at International at Mall. International oh, it Mall, is, I, California Pizza I don't go to malls much. Well. Yeah. All right. So you're at you're so at International Mall, yes. California Pizza Kitchen, and you're in the parking lot at the mall. We're leaving dinner. Le- gotcha. Now, listen. I didn't want to tell this story because I don't want it to reflect poorly on Myself and on Doug because we, everything is fine, ladies but- and gentlemen. Oh, no. <laughs> and Doug, another crazy story with <laughs> and Doug, not to be confused with <laughs> and Doug. This is <laughs> and Doug. Go ahead. Okay, so we're eating dinner and Daddy is on his phone the entire time. Because he has some stuff going on, and he has to deal with some stuff, and I understand that. Uh, Let me guess. It was Derek Jeter related. No, 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 it was not. It was not. But meanwhile, I'm trying to- Yeah, we need to do a version. Derek Jeter and Doug. (laughs) Does he pick up the phone and go, DJ, it's DB. All right, so (laughs) tell the story. So we're, we're eating dinner, and the kids, both of them are sitting on my laps. And that I'm trying to eat my dinner. I don't need a bite of food. He's on his phone the whole time. I I barely have any of my wine. I'm like, well, just take it all to go. So we, that, I'm kind of irritated. I'm just building up. And so Doug's like, all right, let's go. And I'm like, I haven't even had a sip of my wine. So Whatever. you're getting angry drunk Uh-oh. at California yeah. no, Pizza Kitchen. I haven't Kitchen. even had a sip of my wine. I, I, yes. I haven't, no, she said, like, I haven't even had a sip of my wine, Doug. I haven't so, had any of the mommy juice. He's are, been on his phone. And are, I've you, been are you saying eating. that you needed the wine to take the edge off? Yes, that would have helped well, a little th- bit. I think that's a, a sign. <laughs> All right, All right go ahead, keep going. So I'm just kind of like frayed nerves. And, and again, not he's had a lot going on, so he was as well. So we're walking through the parking lot, and he's on his phone. And the subject matter that he's talking about, I don't want other people to hear about. What was he talking about? I can't get into that. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. What do you I- mean the colonoscopy doctor can't get me in at three <laughs> Doug. What is he talking about that you don't want it's, it's, people to hear? It's just a lot of stuff that I don't want to get into. It's okay. irrelevant to the story that All you right. want me to share. All right. So I'm he's like, on the phone in the parking lot, yes. International Plaza, and he's loud. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, and he's loud. What happens next? And so I'm holding Daviana's hand, and he's got he's holding our five year old's hand, right. right? So then I say, and I'm kind of I can be a low talker when I need to be, obviously. Right. And so I kind of say under my breath. Lower your bleeping voice. Oh gosh. And lower your yeah. and was bleeping the F bomb? No, it was just bleeping. Yes, yes, it was. It was. So but you you think... said lower your effing voice in front of your two year old and five year old? I said it under my breath. And I'm tall, you know, so I'm thinking my I, I'm just I I was just like oh, I told him a couple times and then I'm like, lower your voice. So little ears, they're like supersonic. So then my daughter repeats it exactly as I said it. Good for her. Dad, <laughs> so which one? The two or the five year old? No, the five year old. So the five year old then tells yes. daddy It was horrible. Tells yes. Dig Dug Daddy. It was awful. Your daughter then emulates you and says, Lower your effing voice. Same same <laughs> cadence, same everything. And but like Guess what? She's probably she's, gonna use that in no, kindergarten no, later she's today. Not. No, yeah, she's she, not. Yeah, she's I've gonna talk- run, she's gonna run around her kindergarten no. class telling kids to lower their effing voice. <laughs> You're gonna get a call. You're gonna get a call from the kindergarten <laughs> teacher. And they're, they're going to wonder what is no. going on because they know all this behavior is learned at home. Okay, listen. So yeah. MJ, you're Can, you're pointing that out to yeah. her. You're like, I hope she says he says it at kindergarten. Roxanne was kind of clap shushing you. You didn't see it, but she's like <laughs> trying to get you to clap what? your like the gator chomp. Yeah, well, just she's now. doing the gator chomp to me. But she's like clap shutting you up. <laughs> Shut I mean, up. I could tell you to lower your voice, but all right. So, he, <laughs> hey, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, do you want to weigh in on this awesome parenting? Can I get to how I solved this problem? 
But yes, Michelle, go ahead. Go ahead. Michelle, Michelle appreciates this because she talks like I do. So oh, anyways, yeah. so I, so little years here is that she repeats it exactly as I said it. Yeah, dad, lower your bleeping voice. And like without even taking a breath, she goes, what's a bleeping voice? Because... <laughs> <laughs> That's a real fun voice. Yeah. Wait, and so, so the first time she said the F bomb. Yeah. So your five year old used, used it twice. Thing. She yeah. used That's the, the F bomb first, lower your effing voice, and then. Followed with, what's a bleeping oh, voice? So you tried to correct that. So, so what you, I said. What, you tried to get her to forget the F bomb and then replace it with bleeping? No, 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 no. She said that. That's why I said she said that in one breath. Dada, lower your bleeping voice. What's a bleeping voice? And because she never heard that word before. So then. I said, no, 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 no. I said ducking. Oh. I said ducking, baby. I said ducking. Oh, my oh, God. No. That's the worst. No, listen. And really? Yes, and she fell for it. It's a what? Doug looks at me. He goes, you got one chance to do that, and she won't. She'll figure it out next time. But I was like, quack, quack. yeah. I said, Daddy was being so loud quack, like quack. a duck. I'm like, gosh, you're talking like oh, you're oh, ducking oh, around with your ducking voice. That's awful. And then, and then I was like, what do you think I should have said? Should I call it a lining voice? And then she's like, yeah, Daddy, shut your lining voice yeah daddy shut your rhinoceros voice or lower your rhinoceros voice so so um, <laughs> I so picture. she fell for it we are good i can't uh, i, I yeah, got un- one until gimme. you get the call from the kindergarten teacher um hi uh roxanne we got a problem your daughter is running around the kindergarten class telling all the kids to shut their bleeping mouths and then quacking behind them exactly <laughs> really, yeah. i can picture quack, quack. condescending doug like oh huh, you got one chance for that one. <laughs> yeah. How loud is he talking? Last week he was talking so loud, people th- they thought you were being abused. How I, loud is he? Yeah, I what is going- think that, he needs that, his ear oh, checked. That's true. Yeah, yeah, so, she's so loud. So Roxanne and Doug. Roxanne And Doug. They were at a restaurant, and when Roxanne got up to go to the bathroom, Doug was so loud, they asked Roxanne, <laughs> Are you okay? They thought she was like in danger, like a battered spouse. <laughs> How aggressive is Doug Dine? <laughs> Doug, have, Doug has other issues. <laughs> yeah, no, see, seriously. I mean, no, not like bad issues. Like he's situational <laughs> things right now. We're giving him a pass. Situational but, things right now. A lot of work, a lot okay. of stuff. All right, Michelle, anything else you want to add? I think it was very clever to quickly think of that because I think that when our kids were young, we probably would have immediately had been like, don't you ever repeat that. That's an awful word. We would have done exactly the opposite and the worst thing you could have done, right, and heightened their like enthusiasm for using the word. Roxanne is totally like, you know, no, she's like ducking, like, you know, quack, quack, like a duck. And then the kid's like, quack, quack. Right. They buy it. They move on with life. What the duck Thank are you, you. saying? They- <laughs> Yeah. I think they bought it because they're they're right. into it now with the animals. Right. That was the yeah. focus. The other animals, the rhinoceros voice. Right. I gotta exactly. I gotta duck and move along here, okay? <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.